people have spent their lives avoiding jellyfish for the fear of being stung. But the Maritime Aquarium at Norwalk is trying to change that by offering an exhibit where you can actually touch them. Joining me now is Kara Kenefick, the Associate of Social Media and Engagement at the Aquarium. Kara, thanks for being here. No problem. Uh, so a lot of people call them jellyfish. Yes. But they're not actually jellyfish, are they? No, they're not actually fish. So we like to call them jellies. Okay. Yes. Uh, and talk to me about the new exhibit at uh, the Aquarium. Right. So our new Jiggle Jelly exhibit it. We have a huge tank and it's filled with tons of, je of moon jellies, which you can find in Long Island Sound. Mm -hmm. And we have volunteers who are staffing it and they kind of direct you on how to touch the jellies without getting stung. So you could do it safely? Yes. All right. Well, why don't you demonstrate? Because I know we have some new jellyfish here. <laughs> These are not real. I was no. tricked uh, yes. earlier today, but it looks kind of like a lava lamp. Right. All right. So talk to me about the safe way to touch the jellyfish. Okay. So the jellies, if you touch them on their tops, which is called the bell, so you touch them with two fingers on the top, okay. and all of their stinging tentacles are found underneath. So as long as you touch them on the top, mm -hmm. you'll be just fine. And their sting is you know, relatively benign to humans, so even if you are swimming in Long Island Sound and they do brush against you, you might only feel a little Got tingling it. sensation. So they're, they're safe. Got it. Yes. And you mentioned uh, the moon gel jellies were in the exhibit, and that was something that you guys mm -hmm. actually grew at the aquarium. Yes, we do grow jellies. We grow a bunch of different species, but we do. We did grow a lot of moon jellies for this exhibit, so we raised them from tiny ephyra, which are baby jellies, all the way up to the full-grown medusas. And these jellies have been around quite some time, huh? Yes, they are older <laughs> than dinosaurs. That was so surprising to yes. learn. Yes, yep, they are. So kids, uh, school trips, anyone really that comes to visit the aquarium have the opportunity to just put their hand right in there? Yes. What's the um, reaction like? Um, well, we get a lot of people who are nervous at first and they say, no, we don't want to touch it and won't it sting us? But, you know, you kind of coax them to, you know, form that connection. You get in there and you, you touch it and you realize it's really not bad at all. It's a very unique feeling. It's definitely something that you need to experience for yourself. It's very difficult to describe and it's not what I expected at all. Really? Yes. Um, well, how, how big do these guys get? Um, so, is this typical or not really? Well, around here they can be about they can grow to about the size of a dinner plate. But okay. down in like the Gulf of Mexico, where the water is a lot warmer, they can grow up to the size of this table. And if you do get stung one though, it's pretty painful, correct? Not by a moon jelly. Not by a moon jelly. No. Um, I mean, if you touch them on the tops, like uh, like you're you do in the exhibit, <laughs> like you're supposed to, not at all. But you know, if you're swimming in Long Island Sound mm -hmm. and they kind of brush against your skin that's kind of tender, um, you might experience a mild tingling sensation, but nothing. It's really not as bad. A little no. bit of hype there then with yes. the jellies, huh? Yes. Yep. Uh, so another portion of the uh, exhibit is the latte competition. Yes. Now you're actually talking about kind of drawing the, uh, a jellyfish yes. inside the latte. Explain right. to that to us. Okay, so you know, you, you get all these awesome creations inside of your latte cup, and so we decided to recreate that <laughs> with jellies. And this is a really fun way that um, we can engage with our fans on social media. We're posting all the entries that we've gotten so far on Facebook and on Twitter, and people can follow along, you know, using our hashtag, which is TMA Jellies. Oh, so, wow, look at that one. Right. That's pretty incredible. And you told me there's a little bit of a science behind this. I thought it was kind of just like drawing it in the foam, not so much. No, it does. <laughs> it takes a skilled hand to draw a jellyfish <laughs> latte. Um, I mean, we're having people, there's a lot of different ways that people are interpreting it. So it's wow. definitely an art form. It sure is. And we can see all those pictures up uh, on your Facebook page at the aquarium? Yes. Yeah, so baristas can enter through March 30th. And there's a page on our website where they can enter and they submit their photo. And then I'll kind of curate all of those onto our Facebook page and create a gallery. And then all of our fans can vote. And we're encouraging the local baristas who enter to have their fans vote as well. And then everyone who votes um, gets automatically entered into a drawing for a pair of aquarium tickets each day of voting, which runs oh, from right. the March 31st to April 4th. And there's an awesome prize at the end, right? <laughs> yes, the winning barista gets um, a tour of the aquarium behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and they also get a segment on CT style. See if they can to make show that jellyfish, right, in real yes, life? to show off their skills. I like that. All right, Kara, before we uh, wrap up, just tell us some other exciting things happening at the aquarium. So along with the new Jiggle Jelly exhibit, we're also bringing back Laura Keats, starting um, Memorial Day weekend Those through the birds, Labor Day. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they're these little colorful birds, and you get the little nectar cup, and they can kind of perch right on your arm, and they'll drink right out of the cup. Oh. Um, we have our 
Ray and Shark Touch Bowl, we just added 11 new sharks a couple oh, wow. days ago. So it's filled with things that you can just touch and get in there. We love that. Kara, thanks so much for no being problem. here. The Jiggle a Jelly exhibit is happening on weekends and holidays through April 20th. All the information is on the screen, or you could simply go to the website maritimeaquarium.org. And good luck to those baristas. Yes. Right? <laughs>